Hey there, I am Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So I am back again with a new video on UI Part Studio X. Again, this video is going to be related to Word documents since I am creating a complete playlist on that. So in this video, we are going to see. So we are very much aware about the feature in Word documents to find and replace text we want to and also replace the image so we can also replace the image but now what if you don't want to do it again and again and you want it to be like done in one go you don't want to open word documents and all that you just need to want to give the name and you want it to get executed for yourself so in this video we are going to see how we can replace text and replace a picture in a word document using ui path studio x so without any delay let's get started so this is my UiPath Studio X interface. Now you see there are different activities over here to perform automation or to create your robot or bot, you can say whatever words you want to use for a Word document. Now you see there is a replace text in document. So I will just simply drag over here. But now why I just simply drag because I wanted to explain you one important concept. So now if you see there are many errors and search the value was not supplied in replace but there is one more very important error is activity is valid only inside word application scope so now what is this word application scope so basically when you want to do something you need to have an overview or you need to have an idea about that without that you can't perform any task even in your normal life so here for this activity as well we need to specify that you need to use a word file for it. So once I put it over here, the errors will become two, you can see. So this is basically we are defining or telling our bot that please use this word file and make the required changes over there. So now let me show you what word file we are using and what we are going to do. So you see over here, we are there. This is one blog which I wrote on Medium. So how to start your ui path journey a beginner's guide to ui path in this we are going to replace ui path with the word ui path studio x since we are right now working on studio x so this is one thing so all the occurrences of ui path will be changed to ui path studio x i don't need to open word document click on this find and then replace etc etc what i will do is i will just give that thing over here in my ui path studio x and it will be get executed for me and the next thing we are going to do is we are going to change this image to this particular image so you see there is orange image in the word document but we are going to change it with the blue image so let's see how we can do that in our ui path studio x first of all i'm going to indicate the file over here now search for value there are many ways to give it i'm going to use text and i'm going to type here ui path that's it see i want it to get replaced with text ui path mm -hmm. studio x that's it see okay now what i want to do is i want to replace the picture so now what we need to specify in the picture one obviously what the picture which we want to replace and give the new one so i'm going to indicate that easily now here you see find pictures with alt text now there should now there can be like there are 10 images in your one document so how will your ui path studio x bot understand that so for that we have alt text over here now the alt text for this image is ui path so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to give it over here as a text paste that's it so it will find the image with this alternate text and it will replace it for me with this particular image so let me close this particular file save this file and run so now to get your bot executed we are going to run okay so let's learn one more concept in this video itself i'm going to drag this over here save type as this save file so there are two options if you want to replace the existing file or else if you want to give the new so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep my previous one as well and 
I'm going to create a new one. So you see, there are different macro enabled talk. So but we are going to keep it talk. Okay, let me paste this over here. UI part studio X journey. I'm going to remove this from the end because I'm already specifying you over here. I want it to the docs. So now what will happen here is I will get a new file as well. I will get the replaced text. I will get the replaced picture. And also I will have my old file saved. Okay. So let me run this and see if we are able to properly execute it or if we are getting some errors. So you, did you notice it changed when we got the new output? Okay, so you see UI path is replaced with UI path Studio X wherever you see. Now let's see the other occurrences. You see how you can start learning UI path Studio X, UI path Studio X, UI path Studio X, and also I have the image replaced. So now when you have multiple images and you want to create multiple files for that, you can just simply use this save as activity, save document as activity, replace text, replace picture. So these are some useful set of activities which you can use to create a complete process which can automate your daily task. Maybe you need to change some text, maybe. So where this can be used, let me give you a real life example. So if you are creating a document for some student, now the complete data is going to be the same, but you just need to change the student name and save the file with the student name. So in that case, it can be used like when the offer letter is getting prepared or maybe so suppose there are 10 interns joining at same time. So what instead of opening the file again and again, you can just simply build a simple process for yourself. Just change one value over here and that's it. You can even convert it into PDF and to learn how to convert it into PDF, check out the previous video in this playlist. Thank you for watching the complete video. I hope you gained some value on UiPath Studio X and learned something new. Keep learning, keep sharing, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.